Hi, my name is Sherry, and you have come into my little craft studio where I do all kinds of projects. Today I am going to do a fun little Halloween treat holder, but I'm going to do several variations over it over the next couple of weeks. So I started with the Halloween one, but you'll see when I show you the set that you can do a bunch of them. Um, and I'm going to go from this and I'm gonna to switch to another set, which will be my next video. It's in my head, at least I think it will be, if it works. You know, sometimes the, head, or the projects in our head look better than when we actually put them on paper. So we'll see. Um, but the stuff I'm, the stamps that I'm using today is from the Holiday Catalog, and this goes live in just a few days. It seems like I've been playing with it for weeks now, which it kinda of has, I guess it's been about a month. Um, but pretty soon you'll be able to order from this on September 4th. If you don't have a copy and you want one, let me know. I will say that we have a couple of holiday catalog online events coming up. Um, one for demonstrators. If you are a demonstrator, you don't have to be in my group. You can be anywhere in the United States or um, if you're a customer and they are fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. My hands are messy because um, I work with two other demonstrators and I got the the final touches on all of my projects done. So there's three of us. All my girlfriends are talented stampers. I like to think that, think that I can come up with a project or two on my own as well. So you will love, love, love the projects and the only way that you'll get to see them is to take our class. So I will put the links to those down below. There's two separate ones. One depending if you're a demonstrator or a customer um, and they're fabulous. And you can start signing up for those now and um, the signups end on September 3rd so you have to get, get to it if you want to do it and you do want to do it because they're gonna be fabulous um, this is one of the best holiday catalogs that we've had in a long time and this is one of the reasons why there are some super fun and um, unique stamp sets like today I'm going to use this little pirate chicken I'm pretty sure we've never had a pirate chick before but this is called birds of a feather and you can see it has um, a Christmas chick a pirate chick for Halloween, a Thanksgiving turkey, of course, and my birthday is often on Thanksgiving. Last year it was on Thanksgiving Day, so turkeys have always been my bird. Um, and then a, a Valentine rooster, and it comes with sayings for all of it. But today we're going to use the the Halloween one just because that's the first upcoming holiday. Here's one of the lists. As I've been stamping and getting my hands dirty, I keep writing down the stuff I need to order. And then everybody that comes, because we have a live event coming up, it's the first of our holiday ones, and it comes up on Saturday, September 7th, which when we first set the date in April, that seemed like it was a million years away. And now it's here. So we're ordering all this stuff for that and we have a big order going in next week when we can finally order. I think there's the windows are open and I'm 100% positive that the squirrel is in my um, bird feeder from the way the noises I hear and the way the cats are acting. So I'm just going to stamp this on a little, this project takes very few supplies. So if you've never um, done much stamping, you won't need much to do this. So I'm stamping it in just black memento ink. So I've got the trick or treat and then my little pirate guy. And this is just on a piece of our whisper white cardstock. Then I'm going to color it in with our blends and these are alcohol filled markers. And I am going to do a little bit of blending on this, but not a ton because he's not the world's biggest thing. And if you were going to give it to a child, color super fast. I was thinking with this little thing that it would be fun to give it like if you work in an office. Super fun, like if you're a teacher and you do secret kind of gifts or like when I worked in the office, it's always fun to give things to your office mates. So they have a bullet tip and a brush tip. I'm going to use the um, bullet tip of this and kind of just add some shading. This is, I think I got mango, yeah. This is the dark mango, and this is the light mango. And they do bleed through the back, so I just have a piece of scrap paper. And then you just kind of blend that around. And again, if you're doing it for a child, don't take the time to really blend it. But it's, it turns out super cute. So if you're doing it for an adult, I'm gonna give it to an adult. You could take a little bit more time because the little box that it's going to go on, they can keep. So I just kind of blend that around. And all of our blends come in a dark and a light. So just have that there. Done with the mango. Oh, nope. Nope, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I did. Then this is... Smoky Slate, Dark and Light. 
So again, I'm just going to take my dark. I always start with my dark. And I just do a few accents of where I might want some shadow to fall. That's all I need for that. If you were doing a bigger pattern or something that was a little bit more fancy or artistic, you could spend a little bit more time going back with a second color. But just one for this is fine. Do his little pirate's hat. We have a black, and I thought about doing his hat black. I was afraid it might be a bit too dark. So the gray just gives the black effect without making this hat super, super dark. In fact, I almost did his hat purple. Because, you know, it's art. You can do whatever color you want. And then I've got the pumpkin pie. Dark and light. So take my dark, and he's holding his little Halloween basket. Get his candy in, as all little good... Halloween chicks do. Got it on his beak and his feet and his. Oh, I can see now. So I'm not talking because I see that I forgot to color in one of his. Oh, I'm gonna have to check. Hang on, right back. Go away. Sorry, Squirrel Patrol. <laughs> He was all the way in the thing, and I was afraid our, he was going to knock it over. I forgot to color in both of his um, wings. My cat's kind of disappointed that I made him leave. I could tell she was torn. Should she stay up here with me and stamp, or should she go down and protect the house? But I was afraid the other cat might go through the screen, because he's downstairs. He is protecting the house. Okay, and then I'm going to take the brush tip of my pumpkin pie and just get a little brush, literally, over the word or. And then I've got, I only went with one color of my granny apple green. And he's got some polka dots on his little band, pirate bandana. He's so cute. So I just do those in green. And then again, the brush tip for that. And I also didn't get his. This is when I stood up to go take care of the squirrel. And so then we've got the purple. And this is our Highland Heather. And this is the dark. So again, put in some of the dark right here. Take my brush tip over here and then go to my bullet tip to finish coloring him in. It would have taken less time had I not had to go address the wildlife. An appropriate card to have the squirrel in your bird feeder when you're doing a little bird set project. So there we go. And then there's lots of different ways you could cut this out. I'm just going to use some scissors. For my little bird. So I'm just going to quickly cut him out. And you just want to make sure that you leave a little border of white. I thought about having one done because you know sometimes I like to do the magic television thing um, but I wanted you to see how just how really quick this card was. Like I thought about having one already colored, um, already cut out and I thought no you want to see just how super quick this really is. Because if you want to make, you know, five or six for your coworkers, or you want to make, you know, three or four for your grandchildren, you want to see that it really doesn't take any time at all. And if you do it while you're watching TV or when you're doing something fun, it doesn't take any time. So just leave a little border. If you leave a little white border, then it doesn't matter so much. And then I'm just going to leave a little flat line right here, um, down there. And then I do have a punch for the trick-or-treat. And I thought this kind of mimicked his pirate hat. So just slide it in here upside down. You could also just cut it out. But I'm just going to get a bit of it. So I have the top part of his pirate hat. And then I'm just going to take my scissors. And wherever you happen to get the end of your little swash of color, pull that off. Now we have these fun boxes. These are super fun and they're called Clear Tiny Treat Boxes. 
not a, like a magical name or anything. They have um, some protective um, wrap on them so you don't get them all dirty. So go ahead and like put it together and leave that wrap on there. That way if your fingers have, you know, sometimes they're inky or sometimes, you know, they may have some glue or sticky on them from the stuff you've been working on. So just leave that on until you get all this pressed and folded. Kind of keeps them clean because they're clear. And then just pop all that down. And then before you actually adhere it together, just pull that off. But at least you've done a lot of the folding and smushing. Put those on there. I've used these a lot. So if you look over my YouTube channel, you'll see other ways that I've used them in the past. I've made candles and um, some fun little things with them. So then just pull that off. And that's just trash. And then these, this bottom bit just snaps in. If you're putting something tiny in it, like we put hot chocolate and tea and stuff in them before, like loose leaf tea. If you do that, you want to maybe put a cardboard bottom in it, just so your stuff doesn't slip out the bottom. But because we're putting candy, you don't have to do that. Because the candy is not going to fall out. So just get all your four pieces down there. And then I have this fun M&M's. So if you're in the United States, which I don't know if you can get them everywhere, but they come in peanut and plain, and I shouldn't have bought the peanut because plain M&Ms do nothing for me because I'm not a sweet person. You put some nuts in something, and then I like it. So it's called Ghoul Mix, and you can see now where I chose my colors. Um, I was hoping that there was mango in it too, but there's not, but the chick pulls the mango in. So just fill your little box. I will tell you they don't put very many green in here. There's a lot of the orange and the purple and not so much of the green. So what I did was make sure that the few green that were in mine were on the outsides. So just kind of mess with them. That way you can see them. And don't let them all get buried in the middle. And it could just be my bag. Who knows? And just pop your lid down. So see. A cute little box of those. Maybe if you're having a party, um, like you can do, if football season's coming up, you can get your team colors in candies. And then literally, you're just going to take your adhesive. Now I've been stamping for my class, so I use one of our discontinued ones. But you could use any adhesive. And you can see now why I left that little flat bottom on him. Because then he's just the perfect size to line up there. And then this is our um, crushed curry um, seam binding. But it is close enough to the mango that it works perfect. Crushed curry blends aren't quite as bright as the mango. So I just went with that to color him in. But you could use either if you have the um, crushed curry. Oh no, I don't think we have them. I think we have soap saffron. I don't know. You could use whichever yellow you want. Or you could use, a. there is a black ribbon in the holiday catalog. I don't have it. When I went to do this, I'm like, oh. You know, you think you ha you bought everything that you could possibly need, and they will tell you that I just overnighted another order today, and it's not all for our class. There's some stuff that I realized I really needed. So we'll have some more videos coming of stuff that I needed to show you. So, and then just a tiny bit of adhesive here. If you think that they're gonna open it and wanna keep their little tag with their ribbon, you could always punch it and thread it through. All done super super fast here's my other one how cute would these be just all lined up as even um, decorations you could do them at the beginning of October and use them at your house for decorations and then in uh, Halloween pass them out to the neighbor kids so that way you have had dec decorations for your house and treats for the neighbors and you've done it two ways because if you had a little stack of these super super cute so again the catalog is live on September 4th if you need one let me know um, I will put all of everything that you need down below this here or on Facebook, wherever you are. If you're on Facebook, you'll have to go over to my website to see it. Um, if you want to sign up to be a demonstrator, right now you get a lot of extra free stuff and that offer ends on the last day of August, so you need to hurry up. Just message me and I'll give you all those details. And if you're interested in doing our holiday um, catalog classes, they're different according to which ones they are, but we are focusing on, I know it's here. Um, we're going to use the perfectly plaid set. You'll get ideas for fall and for Christmas and you will make nine projects 
and you will have alternatives um, using other sets for online projects. It's gonna be super, super fun. Trust me, you don't wanna miss it. You'll be really sad if you miss it and then you start seeing projects on other people's websites and you're like, where'd you get that? Because you'll only be able to get the instructions if you do the class. So everybody have a great day and come back to see my pumpkin one because that's my free online class for just my stuff and it's free, that class. And it will be, um, you'll have to order this stuff for it starting September 4th to the 13th to be in that class. But that's why I'm gonna do the pumpkins next. So have a great day. Bye.